you clicked on this video so you already read the title and you know and so you're probably here to find out what is the secret that i've been keeping from you guys since um january all right <laughs> I put out a video titled trading my death pile for a car in that video i described how i needed a new car but i don't want to have a car payment i also didn't want to dip into our family savings so i was going to essentially list 50 items a day every single day and trade this huge death pile that i had accidentally accumulated um basically trade that in for a car i was anxious to see how much i could accumulate in 30 days but really anxious to see could i purchase a vehicle in like 90 days the initial initial goal was about $15,000 for a car. I hit my $15,000 goal and from what was available on the market, it didn't seem like I was able to find anything for that $15,000. So I kept saving $16,000, still nothing, $17,000, still nothing. I saved up $20,000 and still could not find anything. So you may be aware that the used car market is at an all time high without even shopping for a car right now. You may be aware of that, but do you know how bad it truly is? Let me explain this to you. At one point I thought, man, I really think that those uh, Kia Telluride, I think that that is such a cool car. I know that brand new, those are like 40 grand. So I thought, how much could I get a used one for? So brand new, right off the showroom floor, $40,000. So I get on Carvana and they had some that were like a few years old, 100,000 miles on them, all right? Which I, I was hoping to get something less than 100,000 miles, but okay, here's one with 100,000 miles on it. And you guys, it was 41,000. I'm not kidding. The used car prices are more expensive in some cases than the new ones. I could buy a brand new one with zero miles on it for less money than a used one with 100,000 miles on it. I don't know if you see where this is going. This is insane to even be telling you guys. Like, this is a lot. We kept searching and kept searching and guys, I'm not kidding. Every time we would find a used vehicle with 80 to 100,000 miles on it, if it wasn't 36 to $40,000, like every time. So we did something um, in January. Drew and I made the decision that we never thought we would ever in a million billion years make. Like we are those people that have always said, if I win the lottery, I am not buying a brand new car. Like they lose value as soon as you drive them off the showroom floor. There's not a chance I will ever, ever buy a brand new car. I am 36 years old. I have never had a new car and never had any desire to have one until this market happened. And when I can get a brand new car for the same price or essentially in some cases even less than what I can get a used vehicle around 100,000 miles, there's A, a lot wrong with that and B, it's something I needed to look into. So in January, Drew and I sat down and um, Guys, we ordered a new car. Um, the new car that we ordered, I'm not gonna tell you what type it is because something has to be a surprise here, okay? But we ordered a new car in January knowing that it was going to take about 12 weeks to be manufactured. We originally had a manufactured date of like this week and then they pushed it off a week and then they pushed it off another three weeks. So currently our manufactured date for our new car that we have ordered, that sounds insane to say, is April 18th. The week of April 18th, they are supposed to begin manufacturing our new car but like here's the problem I was clear the entire purpose and reason for this challenge was to stay out of a car payment and not dip into our savings I do not have the money saved up to outright buy this new car yet I've been busting my tail since January since we ordered this thing but now we're in like the last 60 days if the car is manufactured April 18th then about two to three weeks after that should be the date that we could actually potentially see possession of this vehicle that is leaving me around 60 days somewhere between 50 and 60 days to save up the rest of the money to avoid a car payment on what is now a brand new car is this even possible? I am as team no car payment as you could ever possibly be. So basically here are the options in the infamous words of NF, I gotta make it or make it. That's it, there is no plan B. 
I will have to buy this car with cash, you guys. I do have a little bit of saving grace in that the vehicle that I'm currently driving, the Pathfinder, can be sold and we can apply that money towards this new vehicle. Um, but I kind of need to drive it until that comes in. Yeah, I, I don't even know how this happened exactly. I'm just going to be honest with you. Am I excited? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. We ordered a new car. Like, yeah, I'm excited. I've never in my life had a new car. I have drove some real hoopties, you guys. I have drove stuff with the door handles ripped off. The lowest miles I've ever had on a car that I purchased was 53,000 miles. So the fact that this thing won't have any miles is just insane to me. Again, I'm not gonna tell you guys what type of car that it is. I just, like, I'm surprised. This escalated really, really quickly. I think this is what happens when you dream without limitations because if I had limiting beliefs that we were not able to do this, there's not a chance I would have ordered a new car. Um, but I do believe as Yuli Kipchoge says, no human is limited, especially not in your work, especially not in this type of self-employment. There is no ceiling unless you want to give yourself one. I wish you guys could actually see and appreciate all the stupidity and shenanigans that goes into some of these Instagram photos and uh, corny package pictures. Currently I have a chair sitting out here next to the road and um, all of these packages in this truck. And in case you missed my Instagram post, let me just tell you that speaking of buying vehicles, OMG, Mr. Strickland, <laughs> Drew Strickland just bought and paid for this uh, Dodge Ram pickup. I don't say, hey, we bought this truck cash to brag. I say that because I want everyone to know that it's possible because you're sold this idea that you have to get a car payment, that you have to finance, that you have to um, become a slave to somebody um, with debt. And that's not true, okay? We are, how old is Drew? Drew's 34. He's Two years younger than me i think yeah 34 and 36 years old um bought this truck cash and are currently saving for the vehicle that we just ordered um to pay cash for it as well you do not have to buy into the lie that uh, financing is the only way you do have to work hard the only way that we have been able to remain car payment free is that drew and i run three businesses with zero employees we work to say we work hard is an understatement. We work incredibly hard and we live below our means in a lot of different ways. I have said to you guys before, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you spend. And a thousand percent guys, it's the truth. <laughs> Could we save up cash to buy two vehicles being self-employed if we had tons of bills? Yeah, probably not. We would still be slaves to our jobs. It would just be our jobs of self-employment, but we would still be essentially clocking into our debt so yeah, like I'm working so hard right now and I feel like I'm clocking into this dream of this new vehicle that we purchased and like I'm I'm I have big dreams I have big plans and big ideas of how to make the rest of the money in the next 60 days Oh my gosh, you guys while I'm filming this video Israel said mommy I'm eating this apple and my tooth hurts. What's going on Israel? Oh, it's maybe loose. It's maybe loose. It's your very first loose tooth ever It's been Dean. Israel, I'm not ready for you to lose any teeth. You're still my baby bear. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited for you. Congratulations, Israel. That's awesome, dude. It, it's really loose. <laughs> it's, it's really loose. loose. What a cool milestone. Like this is why I'm self-employed so I can be home when my kids discover their very first loose tooth ever. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. He's five, you guys. I'm not even ready for that. What a big boy. He has his first loose tooth and my oldest son is going to be getting his driver's license in a couple of months. Like, <sighs> time to slow down. So I posted on Friday about a sale that I hit at our one and only thrift store. You guys, everything was 25 cents. I asked you if you wanted to see a haul and unanimously everyone said, please show us a haul. So here's the thing, when I went to check out, I think it was $17.50, which is insane because I got 70 items. Um, I want to show you guys everything that I picked up for 25 cents, but it's going to be like lightning round fast. Okay guys, we are about to do the fastest haul that I've probably ever done because I have 70 items. I am like sitting in my 
my kitchen floor for this because we are going to go bam, bam, bam really fast. If I spent 10 seconds per item, the room is sitting here for 10 or 11 minutes. So we're not going to do that, but I want you to keep something in mind. So over 70 items here, if I profited $14, I think 65 cents, we'll just say $15 per item, then I will profit a thousand dollars on this haul. So guys, this cost me like $17 and 50 cents. I want to say for all 70 items you're about to see, and there's not a single item here. I don't think I can profit $15 on. So without further ado, here are the items that I picked up. These were 25 cents a piece. First of all, I picked up some men's dress shirts. This one is English Laundry brand, which is a great brand. English Laundry usually has some detail on the cuffs underneath here. You see that like paisley detail, really pretty chambray shirt. Um, I got this BCBG Max Azaria. This is like a suede dress. This is probably one of the items that I picked up that I don't know. I second guessed whether or not to pick that up, but I do think I could profit $15 on it. This is new with tags only is the brand. Um, it does say that it retails at $29, but I just think this shirt is so Y2K. Um, it's really, really cute. If it was a little bit bigger, I might try to fit into this, but I think I can profit on that for sure. This is a pair of Dickies men's pants. Um, these are large pants you guys these are a size let me see what size these are i guess this is the size here 50 uu um yeah so they're pretty large pants and for a quarter new with tags i am certain that i'll profit my 15 bucks on those i picked up a lot of maternity jeans i picked up almost every pair of maternity jeans that they had uh, left these are indigo blue brand um there's no way that women aren't gonna pay i mean like most of these items i'll probably price at 19.99 um this is a kenneth cole men's dress shirt kenneth cole um here uh another men's dress shirt that i have is this is guest by georges marciano made in the usa so this is a vintage guest and it does have here a guest logo on the breast pocket um, men's dress shirt this one's so pretty i'm gonna have to try this on duro olowu is the brand i honestly am not familiar with that brand but how adorable is this i just love the mixed patterns this is a pair of vintage um size 4M, so these are like four Miss uh, 550 Classic Levi's. I actually have a friend I might offer these to Heather and see if she wants to buy them for the small profit that I need because she's teeny teeny tiny and I think she was looking for some of these last year. So Heather, if you're watching this, let me know if you want those pants. Here's another pair of women's um, maternity jeans. This are, uh, these are Isabel Maternity by Ingrid Isabel. These are really good quality. So um, most of the maternity jeans, it seems like we're about the same size. This men's dress shirt, which is this beautiful black, and it has um, this really cool detail all over the back of it and on the front, kind of rodeo style. Jay Campbell. So I don't think that that's Jeffrey Campbell because I think he just does shoes. But anyway, this is a size small. It looks bigger than a small. I may have my husband try this on. It's a really nice shirt definitely worth a quarter and so was this tommy hilfiger men's dress shirt um again if i could price these at 19.99 i think i could just get them out the door here's a banana republic and it's not banana republic factory this is the banana republic camden fit um men's dress shirt here is a nordstrom men's shop um dress shirt this is like a red and white stripe like a really thin pinstripe i got this hat this is a cleveland uh i guess it's the browns it just says cleveland um with a palm on it 25 cents i usually get around 20 dollars for these i got this hat sorry the sun's doing like weird things you guys um this is new with tags um top of the world uh the world is yours top of the world one fit so um vt that is um virginia tech i think is what that is anyway brand new with tags like i'd have to be crazy to pass this one up let's see the next bag this i picked up because it's adorable and super unique so it has these little ribbon bows all over it it has shoulder pads and the bows are all over the back you guys this is ridiculous the brand is howard wolf and it is made in the usa um i picked up this beautiful beautiful white house black market new with tags you guys um denim like chambray blazer don't know might have to try that on i'll try not to got a vehicle to pay for um this beautiful top shop so the brand was one reason i picked this up this is what you call a cold shoulder it is a crushed velvet tank top 
um this beautiful top here the brand is zara which is a decent brand i mean if you're picking it up for a quarter it's a very sheer um, rose and plaid long sleeve dress shirt this is chico's women's zero um chico's sizing is not like typical sizing so that's not truly like a size zero um i don't typically pick up chico's but for a quarter i will um and i thought about lotting some of these up even in like a reseller box the sun's really not going to cooperate with me look at this beautiful towel that's uh i guess i'll say cardigan um that's really nice uh, i got this joseph ribkoff this is a um, really, really nice, it's not really a shirt. I'm not sure, I mean, I guess it's kind of a shirt. You see how it just has like that one button? I don't know, it's super pretty. I know I'll profit my $15 uh, minimum on that. This is J. Crew Black Label, guys. If you find J. Crew and it has the black label, then denote black label. And this is beautiful. It's a good thing this thing isn't my size. Look how pretty this is. Look at the striping at the bottom. This would also fit my friend Heather. Um, Okay, so I got a few kids jeans. These are size 12 Gymboree. I tried to grab a couple different pair of size 12 because I'm going to make a lot of these. So if I make a lot, then I'll probably lot them up together for $19.99. So that would be like two items that I'm technically only going to be profiting like my $15 on. These are a size 12 also, and they are Wrangler brand. So two pair of kids jeans, but guys, I mean, they were in like perfect condition. For a quarter, like I had to. So if I, I'll, I'll turn my 50 cents into $20 there. These are size 5H, um, so 5 Husky in their Oshkosh Bagosh. Um, let's see, I got I got a few shirts here that Israel may end up with for a time. Um, this one, I don't think will fit him because it says it's a size 6, but it's small. A polo Ralph Lauren um, little sweater there with the polo uh, player. I got this beautiful uh ralph lauren polo shirt also this one's a size six this is a size seven it's also polo like all of these for a quarter you guys they're so nice vineyard vines size seven so some of these again i could lock them up even this one I just thought was adorable. Epic Threads is the brand. It's a size six, but look, it's plaid with like camo intertwined in it. So, um, yeah, this one is Sovereign Code Los Angeles, and it's a dress shirt, and it has, look, these little dinosaurs all over it. Aren't those so cool? They're like kind of geometric shapes and stuff, but I thought that was adorable. I got this pair of kids size seven regular Levi's look at these oh my gosh little red tab uh 511s these are so nice um I don't know if I'll hang on to these for Israel or not most of this stuff you guys I promise even though I'm saying I might keep this up it, it needs to be for sale like I have a car to pay for but for a quarter I mean if my kids wear it for a time and then we sell it again we're still making a lot of money off of it look what I found for a quarter look at this free people oh my goodness I think this is wool probably um I knew I'm I said I wasn't gonna spend a lot of time on each item but I want to know with them yep 100% merino wool so this is beautiful free people 25 cents this is J. Crew Black Label again. Again, that's what that label looks like. Not the, um, it's not only not the outlet, but the black label is like the superior line. So this is just like a denim chambray um, black label J. Crew women's shirt. Another pair of maternity jeans. These are a size petite extra large motherhood maternity, which if you have ever bought maternity jeans you know how expensive these are i mean brand new they're like 30 to 40 dollars a pair like motherhood maternity and stuff so i know that i'll be able to sell them for 20 dollars. old navy maternity boot cut and these are cute like some maternity jeans are not cute but these are really adorable and like i say this one has like a boot cut which is super in right now boot cuts and flares is is what to look for and here's a women's dress pair well it's not gonna be men's because they're maternity too and pink blush is the brand so pink blush is like a, a higher end maternity line so um they're like blue maternity pants um with like a cigarette style or a skinny leg last little box of stuff here i told you guys we were going to go lightning round and i absolutely meant it these are gap the trousers size 12 um 
just gap women's jeans with a boot cut. I guess kind of a, like a wide leg, almost a flare. Um, but Gap, I think if they're in good enough condition and the price is right, pick up Gap jeans. It's one of those brands that people know exactly how they fit. So they can be great bread and butter. And that's all I need this stuff to be. I just need it to be bread and butter $20 sales so I can, you know, profit $15 a piece, get $1,000 out of my 17 bucks really, really fast and put that immediately towards the car fund. These are Jessica Simpson maternity, again, petite, extra large. So probably the same person dropped off a lot of these. Really pretty, uh, like a boot cut flare there also. I think this might be the last pair of maternity jeans. I couldn't believe that these were all still just sitting there. This sale had been going on um, for quite a while, like all week long. They, they kept reducing the price every day. And so this was Friday, things were down to a quarter and I was there at the last hour. So don't come at me with like, I should have saved any of this for poor people because someone on Instagram already trolled me with that. Liz Lang maternity for Target. These are a size eight and Liz Lang maternity, I guarantee you these were 35, $40 really really cute maternity jeans here <laughs> this uh let's see what is this <laughs> what did i buy oh i bought this uh worthington woman 20 size 24 w um skirt look at this beautiful beautiful pattern and it has a zipper on the front of it i bought this because i hardly ever get to buy plus size clothing from my store and i i would love to carry it if i found it more often i thought that was really pretty so for a quarter that was a good pickup we're on to shoes I, that's right, shoes. I found shoes for 25 cents at this thrift store sale. The first pair that I picked up are, um, what are these, Otro Chang? I'm not even really familiar, so I probably need to look up. I mean, it does say it's a leather upper. I might need to look up and make sure that these aren't something phenomenal before I go ahead and price them at like probably 25 bucks, you know, try to get offers or something going. These are a men's pair of Bass made in uh, America brown suede shoes really really nice and these are a size what size are these size 11 so really nice these do not look like an 11 these look smaller than that um here are a pair of shoes now i saw like the leather um stamp on the bottom that these were leather and the brand on these is kenneth cole so a pair of kenneth cole boots that i don't know that they're not like the most recent style by any means um but they were 25 cents you guys so I picked those up. I got um, this pair of, uh, I would mispronounce it, Etne Anye, I think is how you pronounce it. These are a size seven and a half, a vintage shoe, but uh, you know, still like a style that is wearable today for 25 cents. Again, I will definitely pick that up. And these, these are just Charlotte Russe, but it's again, just like those Gab, this is a pair of boots that someone knows exactly how this fits them. They're familiar with this shoe. They may have even had this shoe and then, you know, lost it or it got damaged or for whatever reason, they want to replace exactly this Charlotte Russe shoe. So 25 cents for these boots. Okay, I picked up a few um, cross stitch patterns. This one is Red Hat Society. I know Cat the Nurse Flipper talks about cross stitch some, so I picked this up. They did have an entire um, basket of vacuum bags, but I only picked up the ones that hadn't been opened that I could tell exactly how many were in there. Um, this one is for uh, the Genuine Regina. This is for some Hoover vacuum. Uh, this is Genuine Hoover filter bags. So all of these I thought were pretty easy. Um, you know, I mean, those, those will just be easy money. This is Life's a Beach cross stitch. And this one, I don't even know. I think this is like trains or something. So a couple more cross stitch patterns. And then um, speaking of cross stitch, I got a finished cross stitch. And guys, I think this one might be, I mean, this could be good money. Tell me what you think. This is Bert and Ernie. Let me get behind it so it, it, you can not see right through it. it. I mean, it's very well done. And it just says Ernie and Bert. So yeah, it doesn't even say Bert and Ernie. And up here it says Muppets 1971 to 1977, I think is what it says there. So yeah, this is really cool. This is finished. Tell me, what do you think I should price something like this at? <laughs> I picked up, this is sequin art. Really, really cool, beautiful sequins. I just used some sequins this color in a leprechaun trap that Israel made for, um, for St. Patrick's Day for school. Here are some Mr. Coffee replacement discs. Again, these being a quarter, I feel like this is probably something that people are looking for. I don't know on an item like this though that I'm gonna profit $15. So 
Um, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it's a highly desirable item. Um, here's an oak soap dish. I know the ceramic ones and the metal ones go for quite a bit. So for a quarter, I wanted to try my hand at this um, new old stock wooden soap dish. I have um, some ink cartridges in here. They're all HP and they're all expired. But I know that you can sell expired ink. You can even sell empty ink cartridges. These are the ones I got. The 920 XL. These are all 920 XL. So I got two blue, I got two, three black ones, and I got a magenta. So I'll probably lock them all up and see what can happen. They are expired. Give me your advice on that because I've never sold expired eight cartridges and I've heard people say you absolutely can't and you absolutely can. These are compatible for TZ tape and TZ E tape tape cassettes. So I guess for like a, a typewriter. And I got two of these um, for 25 cents a piece. I got vacuum filled filters odor eliminating for a Hoover and this one is a Febreze vacuum filter um, for a Bissell and then I found these Braun Thermoscan like these are just the tiny little pieces that you add on to a, a thermometer that you would stick in your child's ear um, and I don't know how much these are normally but I am gonna imagine that they're not 25 cents normally I got two more items to show you guys real quick I love to pick up these state plates I don't really know why um, this will probably only sell for like 10 maybe I'll get $15 out of it it is Texas it is really beautiful so I will aim at $15 and we'll see what happens and this could be one of the best items that I found um, I can't wait to show my friend Sarah um, this item daily cabbage over on Instagram and um, she and and uh, Adam, our Pittsburgh picker here on YouTube. So if you don't know the storied history about Cabbage Patch, Xavier Roberts um, allegedly kind of ripped the idea off from a lady who was already making these soft bodied uh, dolls, these soft bodied children, right? Well, he kind of rips the idea off and calls them little people. And I have never seen this. Maybe you have before, but this is not Xavier Roberts Presents Cabbage Patch. This is Xavier Roberts Presents Little People Pals. This is before they were Cabbage Patch, you guys. So this is basically a plan of how to make a Cabbage Patch, like how to make these dolls. I, again, have never seen this. Um, I saw it there and had to pick it up, especially since it has Xavier Roberts picture on it. it does have a little bit of writing there. I haven't comped this out yet. Sorry that the lighting was kind of iffy during that haul, but I know you guys really wanted to see it. I really want to get those things listed. So I thought I better just go ahead, sit in the floor and shoot that so that we could all know together what it was that I picked up for a quarter. So do you think that I had some great finds? Is there anything in there that you would not have picked up for a quarter? Um, keep in mind, this was, like I say, the very end, the last day of a week long um, sale. So I'm kind of surprised that I ended up getting that much good stuff. Um, what would you have looked for that maybe I didn't? And I promise you, I looked through the hard goods and those were really the only hard goods left. So the plans over the next 60 days is to accept every single offer that I possibly can. So if you've ever considered purchasing from my store, it is always linked in the description down below. And I am accepting a lot of offers. So I'm just saying I could make you a really sweet deal on something. Um, I am listing all of the things, like everything I could possibly list. And guys, I have a poster coming out with the slogan, treat your business like your business on it. I will let you guys know as soon as they are available. And if you are interested in buying merch, that is again, all going to go straight to the uh, Rachel purchases her car fund. I'm so excited you guys like the secret is out. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on bell notifications that you know whether or not I close this gap over the next 60 days. Will I actually be able to purchase a brand new car with cash that I made reselling other people's junk on eBay and Poshmark. This is it's insane you guys. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching and remember say it with me. Treat your business like your business. Alright. Yeah.